Welcome to this ambassador reception today on a beautiful day here in Holland. And to start, we're so fortunate that we have the blessings of the Maharshi Vedic Pandits who are in the main Dhyan Hall of the Brahmastan of India. So without any further ado, it's my joy and honor to invite our dear Pandits to offer their blessed recitations today. Jai Guru Dev. Shri Guru Om Bhadran Karne Vishranu Yama Devaha Bhadran Pashe Maksha Virja Jatraha Sirai Rangai Yashema Devahi Tanjadayo Swastina Indra Vridhasrava Swastina Pusha Vishwaveda Swastina Starikcho Arishtane Swasti Nobre has pater dadhatu Om Shanti 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 Om Namaste Ganapatae Tameva Pratyak Shantatwamasi Vameva keva lankartasi Vameva keva lankartasi Vameva keva lankartasi Vameva sarvam karmidam brahmasi Vamsakchadatmasi nityam Ritam watch me, Satyam watch me, Avatam Mam, Avavaktaram, Avasrotaram, Avadhataram, Avadhataram. Avanu jana mavashishyam Avapaschataata Avapurastaata Avottarataata Avadakchinataata Avajordhvata ata Avadharata ata Sarvato maam pahi pahi samantat Vamvang mayastvam jen mayaha Vamananda mayastvam brahma mayaha Vam Satchidananda Duti Yosi Vam Pratyaksham Brahmashi Vam Jnanamaya Vijjnanamaya Si Saravam Jagadidam Tvatto Jayate Saravam Jagadidam Tvatta Stishthati Saravam Jagadidam Tvailaya Meshyati Saravam Jagadidam Tvai Pratyeti Vam Bhomirapo Nalo Nilo Nabha Vam Chattvariva Akpadhani Vam Gunatraya Tita 
दत पुरुख सप्तरीधा स्त्री सप्तमीधा क्रेता देवाजनवादना पुरुखा पाशो जजने हिण्यवर्णी पंचदशूक्त आनंदकर्दमचिक्लीसुताषय श्रीरग्निशेवता सूक्ते स्मृनाद्यास्तिश्रोष्टुभ सोस्मी चतुर्थी बृहती चंद्रम प्रभासा आदिवर्णे पंचमी ष्योत्रुभ तथोष्टुभ पंचदशी प्रस्तार पंक्ति छंदस्का छंदीरण्यवर्णी बीज सौस्मता शक्ति आवह जात वेद श्री महालक्ष्मी प्रीत्यर्थे पाठे विग अरुणकमल संस्थाद्रजापुण्यवर्णा करमलधृतेषाभीतिगुमाजाचा मणिमुकुट विचिलंकृता कल्पजाल सकल भुवन माता सतत श्री श्री गुरभ्यो नम तर्पय 
विश्व प्रिय विष्णु मनो अनुकूल पद्म पद्मानने पद्मूर पद्माक्षी पद्म संभवे तन्मे भजसी पद्माक्षी न सौख्यम लभाम्यहम अश्वदाई गोदाई धनदाई महाधने धनमेजुषता देवी मे पुत्र पौत्र धनम धान्यम हस्तस्वाश्वतरीरथ गजानसी माता आयुष्म करोतु मे धनमग्निर्धनम वायुर्धनम सूर्य धनम वसो धनमिंद्रो बृहस्पतिर्वरुणो धनमश्विना वैनते यशोम पिब सोम पिबत वृत्र सोम धन से सोमी नो मैं ददा सोमीना न क्रोधो न चर्य नोभो न शुभामती भक्तियाजापिना सरसी जनल सरोजहस्ते धवलतरा शुकगंधमाल्य शोभे भगवती हरिवल्लभे मनोज्ञे त्रिभुवन भूति करसीदम विष्णु पत्नी क्षमा देवी माधवी माधव प्रिया लक्ष्मी प्रियसखीं भूमि नमाच्युत वल्लभा महालक्ष्मी च विमे विष्णु पत्नी च धीमह नो लक्ष्मी प्रचोदया आनंदकर्दमश्रीदिक्रीत विश्रुता ऋषय श्रियपुत्र श्रीदेवी देवता मता दारिद्र पापक्षुदमृतव शोक मनस्ता नश्यंत मम सर्वदा सा पद्मासनस्था विपुलकटी पद्मी गंभीरा वर्तना विस्तन वर्णमिता शुभ्रवस्त्रोत्तरिया लक्ष्मी दिव्ये गजेन्द्रैर्मणिगण खचित स्नापिता हेम कुंभ निपद्मस्ता वसत मम गृह सर्वंगल्युक्ता सिद्धलक्ष्मीर्मोक्षलक्ष्मीर्जयलक्ष्मी सरस्वती श्रीलक्ष्मीर्वरलक्ष्मी प्रसन्ना मम सर्वदा वरांकुशोपाशमीति मुद्राकती कमलासनस्ता कोटिप्रतिभाजेमाद्या जगदीश्वरी 
ಶ್ರೀವರವರ್ಚಸ್ವಮಾಯುಷ್ಯಮಾರೋಭ್ಯಮಾಧಾಕ್ಷೋಭಮಾನೀಯತೆ ಧನಂ ಧಾನ್ಯಂ ಪಶುಂ ಬಹುಪುತ್ರಂ ಸತಸಂವತ್ಸರಂ ದೀರ್ಘಮಾಯು ಹರಿ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಉಕುನಂತೋಯತ್ರಮನಸಾಚಮಕೃತ ಅಖಾಯ ಸಖ್ಯಾನತೆ ಭದ್ರೈಷಾ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ನಿಹಿತಿ ಹರಿ ಸುಖಿ ಸಂತುರಾಮೇ ಭದ್ರಾ ಪಶ್ಯಂತ ಮಾಕಸ್ಯಾಂತಿ ಹರಿ Jai Gurudev, and thank you to the dear Maharshi Vedic Pandits for the beautiful recitation. You heard at the very end the Pandits saying this Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, wishing that um, everyone everywhere is filled with happiness, that suffering belongs to no one, and that the only thing that we see is that auspicious value of total natural law lively and blissful in our own awareness. I was thinking just as they were ending that I'd been getting some very interesting emails recently that from two different donors to National Yajna saying the same experience. They said that they noticed that when they were donating to this National Yajna program, even though they didn't think about it, so much they were finding that for some reason that in their program in their own experience of their program for some reason it was as if that that gap of awareness was wider or as one of them said it was as if the entry the clear path entry into the absolute into that experience of atma the silent experience of the self was more accessible and they wanted to know why that was they said in the case of one of the people that it was really palpable that the yagya started and they noticed that when they sat to meditate there was a correlation between their ability to just immediately sink into that huge drawn out silence of awareness and perceive within that and it without thinking about it they just it was their natural experience and they wondered if that marshi had said something about it i answered that to the best of my knowledge marshi's answered this in the bhagavad gita commentary in the third chapter when marshi talks about the value of yagyas and in it marshi explains that value that he who upholds natural law natural law upholds them and that what happens is there's a two-way relationship between the administrators of the universe and those of us who are administered or said in another way just like in a family there's a parental role and a parent is always looking out for the child but the love and appreciation that comes back from the child inspires the parents to do even more and that sense of love and appreciation has a purpose and the purpose from our own lives is not in itself um the the act of of say of giving though that's fantastic and it produces an effect but in terms of what it does in our own individual life which is that it tends to open up that previously inaccessible value even though it was should have been accessible 
of total natural law. It's quite a remarkable phenomenon, and it's something that I've noticed as Arlene and I and Roger Jeshri Lauren have been involved in these last years in the Pundit program more and more. I felt more bold to tell people because when we started out in the program, I knew this, I knew from our own experience, but I wondered what it would be the experience of the people who were so kindly and so generously offering their hearts and their support to the Pundit program. And to a person, what I've been hearing is that there's something very beautiful that happens in all our experience when we, when we take on that bigger role for the world, which is we take on trying to create that momentum of peace, the momentum of prosperity, the momentum of all good to everyone. When we start to, to live that and try to offer that to the world in that way, what happens is, is that naturally the softness in the heart tends to grow back in terms of ourselves. It, it's quite a remarkable, remarkable experience. And so I'm very proud what everybody in the movement family has been doing to try and create this effect in the world, and in particular to create this large group of Maharshi Vedic Pandits in the Brahmastan of India. Because in doing that, we're doing something great for the world, but very importantly, we're doing something really great for ourselves. We're creating that world of softness it's so delicate and so refined inside ourselves that it can't be lost and that we live that value of enlightenment. Along those lines today, I wanted to show a couple of short clips of what's going on at the Brahmastan for a taste of what everybody is doing is creating. And the first one now, if video could please show the clip of pundits during recitation of Ati Rujubi Sheikh. It's very short, but a video now could play this first clip of Ati Rujubi Sheikh, and then I'll make some comments about this after. So please, video, go ahead. It's quite powerful, isn't it? It's, it's really something remarkable. One can feel in that reverberation of 1,500 pundits reciting Ati Ruja Bishek every day in the Brahmastan, the incredible power of total natural law becoming more lively. I mention that specifically because I think that that experience those of you that can please come and enjoy that at the Brahmastan. It's something that is, it's very thrilling. It's very life-changing. And it's something that stays with us along these same lines. It all has to do with that continuation of the opening of ourself to ourself, of the opening of the individual to the cosmic, and the perpetuation of that is one's own experience every single day, all day, and all night. 
We're very, very happy, and I was going to say proud, so I'll say proud again a second time, with the tremendous response that there's been to the work that it took to create the Bajori campuses at the Brahmastan of India. And Arlene, Lauren, and I want to warmly invite all of you to come and experience Ati Rujabi Sheikh and experience what Maharshi created for this possibility of peace dawning for the whole world. Now we're going to show just a few slides of the whole Bajori campus and the Brahmastan just to give a taste of what's going on there and remind us of what really is being possible for our own experience. So now if video could please play the PowerPoint presentation of the Brahmastan of India. Please go ahead. You can see here the first building that was finished. This is finished to a very high Western standard, as you can see. Next slide, please. There are three such buildings. On each floor, there are 10 suites, and um, five on one side, five on the other side, and three stories like that. Really quite lovely. Next slide, please. This is an example of one of our, what we call our deluxe suites. This is one half of the sitting part in the front. There's an equal side on the other part where the um, dining tables are. And behind that window you can see on the right is a beautiful bedroom. There's a one bedroom and two bedroom deluxe suites. Really quite lovely, of course, with internet access and so on. Next slide, please. The area itself is the Brahmastan. It's naturally a place of great peace and silence. It's a place that has never really been lived in by people. It's always been kept as a place of silence and a silent wholeness from which to generate good for the world. Next slide, please. The feeling there, the view from there is very peaceful. And it's a place, therefore, which is naturally conducive to that blossoming of that inner experience I was talking about at the inner first part of the, um, the discussion. This is, again, looking at the three buildings of Bajori. You, it's hard to make out the third one, but we're looking at, the, at one of the buildings that's been built. Next slide. And again, beautiful feeling and a very nice level of construction that Girish Varmaji so beautifully organized. And in the next slide, this one, you can see examples of people coming from all over the world for these courses. And when we say courses, it's, it's a very easy, comfortable routine. The routine is designed for one thing above all, and that's to encourage deep experience. We know it's a long way to come, but we know that once you're there, and it's that openness of nature is there to providing the experience, the routine is structured to do that with time for nice program, with really delicious, very high quality food, with chants every single day for pundits to come and recite the specific sum value of natural law for that day. They come every day, except for one day a week we go over for Atirujibi Sheikh with a large group of pundits. And one day we go over for Durga Saptashati, this, this long puja for that value of total natural law radiated through Mother Divine. There are some incredible knowledge tapes of Marshi that most of us have, have not seen or if we saw maybe once on a TTC or an early course or a later course, just absolutely sublime levels of knowledge. That routine of going over and seeing the pundits as we're looking now at the picture of just as we saw before in the new stage that Arlene beautifully organized so that we have this, this festival stage at the main Brahmastan campus along with the Ati Rujabi Sheikh stage. Now from here we're looking from the Ati Rujabi Sheikh stage and in this case the festival stage is on the other side, we're not seeing it to the right. And you'd be sitting, you will be sitting in the back there right with the, behind the pundits and listening to the recitation. And next slide, please. This is another angle. And now from this, you can see both on the far right side, the stage of Ati Rujabi Sheikh, 
and straight ahead to the back, you can see the stage we saw earlier when the pundits were reciting. I have to say that for many people, just walking into that hall is an enormously powerful experience. And in many cases, it's an emotional experience because you can taste the promise that Maharshi wanted to offer us all. Next slide. It's a beautiful place to come. It's the perfect place from which to create peace. It's quite a remarkable thing that Maharshi created, that he created the start of this. And now the question is, can we ourselves figure out how to finish it? Can we take the charge that Maharshi has given us and for ourselves and for the world, create that place of heaven on earth? We want to really invite you all to please come to the Brahmastan and experience it. You can go to MaharshiIndiaCourses.com and there you'll see how to apply. We're already about 50% or 60%, I think, at least booked for this coming season, which starts in October and runs through the end of March. Please do come. And again, I'm, I'm inviting you with the point of view of sharing the experience of that glorious inner value of Atma, of peace. It's really something great. So thank you, Video, for showing that presentation. I wanted to end today's overview of what's going on at the Brahmastan with another video, and then I'll make some, some final short comments and see if anyone has sent in any questions. Uh, this last video, Arlene organized together with one of the, um, the great people who came to help us, Amin, take some shots. And it's the end of the, part of the end of the Ati Rujubi Sheikh. So if video could please just show, again, it just gives a taste and a flavor just for the joy of seeing it, that Twameva Mata. If video could please show that now. Pundits end every day's recitation of Ati Rujavi Sheikh like this. You heard the different expressions of the invocation of natural law. Sarvevavantu Sukhina, as we talked before, may all good belong to everyone. Purnamada, Purnamidam, Purnat, Purnamudachate. May everyone experience that value of fullness of ah, the silent self, punam idam, the value of e, lively dynamism, and that when fullness is there with fullness, that neither silence nor dynamism overshadows each other, but together it's lived together. That value of life in enlightenment, of life where the softest impulses of total natural law can come through, rise up, and be fulfilled for our own happiness, while the deep peace and bliss and divinity of inner life is constant 
For that, Maharshi came to bless the world. For that, he created the Brahmastan of India. And for that, we want to welcome you all to come there. We want to thank you so much, everybody, for continuing to support the dear Maharshi Vedic Pundits. We want to thank everybody for being beacons of life in their own meditations for the whole world. We want to thank everybody for having the joy of coming along all together as one movement family and putting our time for that, which surely is the most important thing that we could do, to create a world of enlightenment for ourselves, a world of peace for everybody in the family of nations. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation today and looking forward to your continuing support and very much to seeing you at the Brahmastan of India. Jai Gurudev.